find the angle of incidence of a ray of light on one face of a 60 degrees prism if the ray is just totally internally reflected on meeting the next face. Take refractive index of glass to be 1.5. So we have a prism. And for this prism, the angles here are 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and 60 degrees. And then we have a ray of light approaching it on one face. And then it is refracted. And then on this other face, we're told that total internal reflection is just about to take place. So that means that the angle of incidence here is the critical angle. And then on this other side, we have 90 degrees. So the refracted ray is that. Now from this, we are going to calculate the critical angle of glass. We know that sine of the critical angle is equal to 1 over the refractive index. And this implies that sine C is equal to 1 over the refractive index, which we are given as 1.5. Now 1 over 1.5 is 2 over 3. So when we get the critical angle C, we simply find the sine inverse of 2 over 3. This is 41.81. Now if the critical angle is 41.81, then the whole of this angle here is 90. 90 minus 41.81 should be, so this angle here is 48. 0.19 and if here is 48.19 and we have 60 here angle property of a triangle this side will therefore have as 71.81 angles of a triangle add up to 180 so we remain with 71.81 for this angle and that therefore means that the angle of refraction on this surface is 18.19 And therefore, the question required us to get the angle of incidence here. The next thing, applying Snell's law, the sine of the angle of incidence over the sine of the angle of refraction should be equal to the refractive index. Now, the refractive index were given as 1.5. So we're looking for I when the angle of refraction is 18.19, just as we'd seen here. So we are going to have sine of i over sine of r, and r is 18.19, is equal to 1.5. Now if you have this over 1 and cross multiply, we are going to say sine of i, that is angle of incidence, is equal to 1.5 times sine of 18.19. Now the right hand side becomes... 0 0.4683, so that is sine of i, and therefore i, angle i, is equal to the sine inverse of this. And therefore, finally, the angle of incidence on that face becomes 27.92 degrees. Now with that, we mark the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. See you next time.